Welcome to the Summer Fam. Yeah, it actually is pretty easy to put on, by the way. It just rolls right on. It's like there's CBD in it and some other stuff, and it's supposed to help you with hand pain. Dude, it does feel good, though. Where is the link? Uh, under, if you scroll down, it's like the top panel. Uh, we have a code. The link should just have the code for 10% off. We can talk about BRC applications. There's a few. In this game, there's basically five types of roaming cancel. There is the red roaming cancel that if you played any Guilty Gear or honestly, just any Arc System Works game you're pretty familiar with. There is the PRC, which is the the I with this move version of it, which is generally weaker than red RC, but has plenty of application. There's also the defensive YRC, relatively strong uh, defensive mechanic that causes a plus 10 guard crush, so your opponent can only block or burst. Uh, you have the fast roaming cancel as well, which is essentially canceling the startup of your roaming cancel. So this thing that you see here, you can cancel the startup of it. And the last one is the blue roaming cancel, which has the most slowdown, but your opponent can't be in box or hit stun when you do it. So what do you use this for? So the first thing that people found a really good use for is offense. So you can set up situations, offensive situations with this. The reason why this works, even though my opponent is in block sun is because I'm not directly attacking them. But there's little ways you can actually use to work around this baseline restriction, where if I do RC here, I will always get red. But if I'm not doing anything, but my opponent's in block zone, I can actually get the blue roaming cancel. So the first thing that people did is this extends uh, the block zone you have, so you can set up mix-ups with it. You can do something like... Okay, so that's a low. There you go. So normally, I can't do this with Milia. So normally, there's always a gap here, but thanks to the additional slowdown, you can make it so that there's not a gap here. You're extending block stun and hit stun. You could also do this to change your combos. So where, let's say I get a hit like this. So how could I convert this normally? Like either I use my super, which I'm Milia, so I'm really privileged. I drop the combo because I suck. Or I could spend meter on RC and get closer and then use the slowdown that way. I could also choose to take advantage of the slowdown time to not only link things that I can't normally do, but keep them in the launch state longer so I can get combos that I can't normally get. Another thing you can use this for is for general movement. So like uh, even like an air dash is fine enough, right? So in a spot where it might feel like you don't have options because your opponent can wait with an anti or something, you could bait them using your meter. So in this case, like let's say Mei tries a 6P, she's behind me, I have like all day, literally all day to get a combo off this. The last main one that I use this for, uh, one is like pretty specific to certain characters. This one is actually more general. So he gets pushed pretty far. Depending on how you put, how you block this move, he might go like really far. So despite it being minus 11 normally and minus nine in shock state, generally your standard character can't actually punish this. But if you have 50 meter, here's an example of like a defensive choice that you have to really think about how you're using your meter, right? While YRC would be pretty good to turn the tides here, because you're gonna have a plus 10 guard crush again, all they could do is block or burst, right? While you can do this and that's Gucci, so why not instead drift at him, slow him down so he's in that recovery state for longer and then get a punish that way. And of course, because of the slowdown, you're going to be able to get a combo that you can't normally get. So I get a punish and a much, much, much better situation. BRC as a defensive choice also has significantly less meter penalty. As an example, like I'm just gonna do BRC straight up and then I'm gonna run. And if you look at the bottom left, okay, my meter's coming back. I'm gonna YRC and I've done this many times. I, uh, I'm gonna look at the chat because I have plenty of time, by the way, because uh, it takes a long time for the YRC meter penalty to finish. There we go, finally. It's good for punishes, but you don't even have to only use it for punishes as well. So let's use May as an example. So, so we have four May options. I don't think this is the total spread of common options that May would have. 
The nice thing is that this move is minus five, so you don't get a punish necessarily, but you get to not only confirm the situation, but if May picks stuff that's not blocking, you also get a combo. So you can really turn the situation around. So in this example, I get a combo because I catch her back dash. In this example, because I see the 6P, I can hit her with whatever low, honestly. I did 2K just for the sake of ease, but I get to see the 6P. I know it has upper body invincibility. I just press a button. She's going to be airborne, so... Nice. Rather than burning your meter on a YRC, you can maybe think of, oh, I could try to wait for S Dolphin and then turn the tides with BRC. There's one more BRC application that most characters can't use, but it revolves around my least favorite mechanic, Guard Crush. All you can do is block or burst. Are you for real? You can do BRCs off the Guard Crush state and just have like god amounts of slowdown and stuff. Hey, okay, we got it. Yes, okay, okay, okay. There you go, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you have this, it's party time. If you don't have this, then I'm sorry. Uh, also, the BRC of Guard Crush is only for the plus unblock one. So I wouldn't expect it off ones like Ram, who has like a minus two. But those are probably the main BRC applications at the moment. There could still be more. Uh, I feel like for characters like Milia and Chip, it's a little bit stronger. Where like for Milia, I've been doing stuff like like that like uh doing like a really predictable capital and then like using my meter to bait out a response and then getting like a fat punish off of it uh some people try like running up and doing brc drift at them i think this is pretty unreliable because just because you don't know exactly what the opponent is going to do